you should see that the characteristics and the client should lead into what the prescription is. For advanced, we're talking about possibly five plus years of training in weight training protocols specifically. We're going to have complexity. Um, we're going to have, you know, level three to five assessment stuff. We're probably going to have some performance. We're going to have advanced principles like incomplete rest times, uh, different types of set rep schemes. Uh, we may have some overloading, which means that you may do on a specific workout by itself, you may do an upper body push workout and it may be only on Tuesday where you do different components of upper body pushing. Big movement, supplementary, supplementary. And then you do that again on Friday because it's something that person needs to work on. We need to have some basic consistency in their weight training protocols only for that. So an advanced prescription may be something like this. Clean and jerk. Um, we're gonna use a percentage and different percentages per set. So you're gonna do uh, triples for this person because we know the neuromuscular efficiency for that person. You're gonna do triples and then we're gonna do an AMRAP in a certain time frame, like a 30 second time frame. I'm just kind of throwing some ideas out there based upon what you're seeing for complexity. And then for B, we're gonna do front squat, uh, three sets of three. And there's gonna be a tempo, of course, rest time and everything prescribed with that. And then we may do some supplementary uh, core work. So you can see that um, kind of the things that are intertwined in here, see that the number of exercises are gone down, right? So in the program design for advanced, the number of exercises is low, okay? Based upon each weight training session. Clean and jerk front squat, supplementary, done. Or it could be just be these two on one day, right? And just think about that. What is the clean and jerk getting? It involves so many different things and so many different movements. You can see now that it's more multiple joint is greater than single joint activities, okay? We can see now that the rests are longer, okay, longer than, than beginner and intermediate. We can see that the complexity is higher, right? Complexity is increased. Front squat, clean and jerk. The supplementary activity may be ring work, right? Toes to rings, any kind of uh, lever work. For the advanced uh, individual, you see, should see some of those principles in place. Now think about that. If this was on a Monday, let's go back to that. If this was on a Monday, this may be some, enough of an overload where we may do supplementary work on Thursday, therefore we may come back and only be able to do this on Monday. So you can see the frequency of it may be only one time a week. So you saw for the beginner, we did it three times a week with lots of reps. And now we may only do it one time a week for the exercise chosen with low reps. You can see how those principles ring true now in terms of what I told you about. If the intensity is lower, you can do more frequency and touches on it. But if the intensity is high as what it may be more for an advanced person, you have to be cautious of doing D1, D2, you know, E, F, doing a whole bunch of work. Because all this intensity put into this stuff is not gonna negate the amount of work that's done here. I'm not saying this is never done, but I'm just saying that for general principles for an advanced uh, person, you may only wanna do it one time a week where you're focusing on that. If this is intensive, if this is sub-maximal and technique-based, I may do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but they may be sub-maximal efforts, so it's not high intensity. But if I'm doing it at high intensity, you know, on a Monday, I may only do some technical work on it on Tuesday to tweak it and then do intense again on Monday. So the amount of times that I do it is much lower than when I, than when I do um, beginner. Because the beginner, remember, we had A1 to D2 as an example. And then for the intermediate, we had A to B to C, A1 to A2, down to B and C. And for advanced, we may just have A and B, that's it. So can you see, exercise selection gets less, rest time gets longer, um, the amount of intensity and repetitions between here and here becomes less, so the reps get lower, intensity increases. 
And so, again, those are just general principles based upon what an advanced person would look like. But you can see I'm picking apart, if all I knew was weight training protocols, what it looks like to write an advanced weight training protocol and how that goes hand in hand. For advanced people, I hope you see that, that the intensity is there, that the sets may be longer, the exercise selection per exercise day is less relative to intermediate and uh, beginner, and you can see that you can use more advanced techniques in terms of overloading specific movement, doing more complex exercises, doing more supplementary work every day, and then ensuring that you know the movements may vary from day to day, where let's say you do a Monday clean and jerk technique or intensity, Tuesday is squat based, Wednesday could be energy system, Thursday could be that another clean and jerk supplementary, Friday maybe snatch practice, and then Saturday and Sunday's off. So you can see that each day they're doing something but it's, it's specifically, you can see that I have to wait one week before I come back and do that, just like one week before I come back and do that guy, um, because they're all varying, because the intensity that goes into each one is you know, deeper down that nervous system hole to give you an understanding. So I hope you see that within advanced training, weight training principles, that uh, they apply so that when you get someone within that level three, four, five um, assessment, and also when you're gonna do a prescription for someone advanced, um, if we were to call a characteristics of a person advanced, then I hope some of these principles you can apply uh, to your weight training protocols.